In the White House and on the Democratic debate stage, colorful personalities abound. But the absence of any diversity in this year's race for president is not lost on Michael Garner. We're successful because we focus on solutions and we are not blinded by problems. The president of 100 Black Men, the legendary nonprofit organization which held its 40th annual benefit gala Thursday night in Midtown Manhattan. And we fill the voids. Hundred thousand dollars a year in college scholarships. From the stage, the eyes of the nation now fixated on the question of stop and frisk. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio did not pass up the chance to bring up a major topic of discussion during the debate: the city's failed implementation of stop and frisk. I've sat, I've apologized, I've asked for forgiveness. De Blasio's predecessor and current Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg was heavily criticized for his administration's use of stop and frisk, an implementation which was ultimately found to be unconstitutional. I was one of the very first groups I wanted to be a part of. That's how it started. But to be clear, this gala was obviously not just a forum to talk politics. It was also an opportunity to remind the crowd of the work 100 Black Men performs in honor of its mission, to play a proactive role in leveraging our collective talent, ability, and energy toward achieving meaningful gains for the Black community. Among this year's gala honorees, Nicole Hannah-Jones, New York Times investigative correspondent and creator of the outlet's landmark 1619 project on the legacy of slavery. 100 Black Men is just a tremendous organization that is doing really such uh, much needed work in our communities. And there's always something very special when your own community honors you for your work. Also honored during the gala, CBS News Executive Vice President Kim Godwin. I remember being that young kid in urban America, not having very much and seeing another black woman at N News. And it just said to me that it was possible.